and welcome to another edition of Medhurst Maths with your still most awesome maths teacher, me, Mr. Medhurst. Now this has been a request I've had over Twitter. Remember you've got a request, tweet me at Medhurst Maths. Link will be in the description and at the end of the video as well. So, Pythagoras' theorem. <coughs> okay, a lot of people struggle with this to do with right angle triangles, so today I'm going to slow it down a little bit. So, Pythagoras only ever works with right angle triangles. So when you've got a triangle with a right angle, that's when you use Pythagoras. If you have any other angles, chances are it's going to be trigonometry, not Pythagoras. That's where a lot of people go wrong with this. So, one key word you need to know when remembering Pythagoras, that's hypotenuse, okay? You don't particularly need to know how to spell it, but hypotenuse. Now your hypotenuse is the longest side in your right angle triangle. Now the longest side is always opposite your right angle. So in these two triangles, my hypotenuse would be x and 13. So this is going to be important in a second. Put that pen back away for later. I'll throw them away in a bit. I know you like it. So our first triangle. First thing you need to do, label your triangle A, B and C. Always, always, always label your hypotenuse a C. So, start with this one. That's going to be our C. A and B, doesn't matter where around it is. We've got A and B. Now, a formula for Pythagoras, again, always the same. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This is when you're trying to find a hypotenuse. Formula done, you know what's coming, pen done. Get rid of that. So, we've got A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So now, we can plug our numbers in, find out what C is. So, A we know is 3, we know B is 4, we don't know what C is, we leave that as our X. Now 3 squared, remember square numbers, times it by itself. 3 times 3 is 9, so we've got our 9 there. 4 times 4, 16, so that's going to be our 16, equals X squared. Now we add these together, 9 add 16. 25. Lovely jubbly, you know you like adding. Nice and simple, let's make that 2 squared look more like a squared, okay? So we've got x squared is 25. Now remember, inverse operations to solve for x. We did a bit of this, now solving equations. This is a different operation, squaring. The inverse of squaring is square rooting, okay? So the square root of x squared would be x. So x is going to be the square root of our 25. Now, the square root of 25, if you remember your square numbers, is 5. And our units, nice and simple, 5 centimetres, because we've got centimetres in there. Don't forget your units. People do. Don't like it as math teachers. You can lose marks in exams. Question done, pen done. That's our finding a long side using Pythagoras. Now, that's our first question done. So now we'll have a look at our second question. Get rid of this, okay? Get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. So we've got a second question down here. We've got our hypotenuse is 13, one short side is 12, the other short side is x. We don't know what it is, we need to find it out. So we start with our normal formula. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's for finding a long side, for finding your hypotenuse. I'll put a h there for hypotenuse. For finding the short side, we need to do slightly different. Because we know this and we know this, we subtract them to find out this. So we'd have c squared minus b squared would give you a squared. That's an s for short. Okay, Remember, s for short, h for hypotenuse. So this time, still label your hypotenuse c. This time, the one we want to find is going to be a, and the one we want to know is going to be b. Label done, formulas done, pen done. So now we put these numbers into our formula. So we know C is 13, so we've got 13 squared, we know B is 12, equals our unknown, our X squared. Now 13 squared, for all you fans of numbers out there, 169, you need to know that, up to 15. Square numbers up to 15. 12 squared, that's right, 144, equals our X squared. Take these away, Again, coincidence this, x squared is 25. 
Now, what do we do? That's right, we square root to get our x. So x is going to be the square root of 25, which is 5. Again, our units are centimetres, so we put centimetres on our answer. Nice, simple, Pythagoras done. Both hypotenuse and a short side. Sleep well. Good night.